America is the most drugged up country in the world. Hands down, no competition. Like Hussein Bolt in the Olympics. No competition. 70% of Americans are on at least one prescription drug, while 25% are on five or more. The fuck? That's a lot of pills. So I'm here to address the giant elephant in the room. I just don't understand how I got in here without me noticing. <laughs> Your tail makes me giggle. It's so whippy. <laughs> and that is that the pharmaceutical companies are exploiting ignorance in America. ADD and ADHD are not real things. <laughs> explain this to you. Okay. Kids are hyper. Yeah. You're excited. Life is new. Everything they see is like, wow, this is awesome. I've never seen this. It's like banging someone the first time. Right? This is fun. I'm totally never going to get sick of doing this with you the same way. That's, that's how it works, eh? Oh, your child has ADHD. That must be so hard for you. Sweet that you let them chase their Adderall with a giant frappuccino. They had Fruit Loops for breakfast. Oreos and Pepsi in their lunch with white bread. Oh, and because they're acting like a good little zombie, you're taking them to McDonald's for dinner. And a Sunday? Yeah. <sighs> you're feeding them poison and then drugging them for acting like they're poisoned. The fuck? The new versions of Ritalin and Adderall are equivalent to speed. <laughs> but weed is still illegal some places. That makes sense. We're giving kids speed now. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> it's like going after a fly with a machine gun. Hey kid, we heard you didn't put your hand up in class. Vinny, show him what he gets. <laughs> I love you guys, but what the fuck, America? <laughs> they thought Albert Einstein had an ADD type issue too. And Bruce Lee, if you don't want to have kids, and they will be hyper, don't fucking have kids. Oh. See, I haven't had kids yet, because I still can't take care of my damn self. But I, but I know that. I, I'm not wearing pants. I just, I don't want to. You talk about kids when you don't have kids yet, and people look at you like you picked up their drink at Starbucks. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there was this other kid who was on ADD drugs for, I think, two years, then went to his mom and was like, This doesn't make me feel right. Is the death stare really necessary? I thought it was my basic white bitch drink. Took him off the drugs. Mom put him in swimming. Okay, calm your twat. I didn't lick my hand and finger fuck your drink. I just picked it up and I, oh, that's not my name. And I put it back down. SMH. You might have heard of him. Olympic record setting Michael Phelps. Don't drink that, Billy. That's tap water. Fish don't even drink that shit. Fish drink Avian. Those same people are perfectly fine drugging their kids for acting like kids. The same parents that are so against spanking. ADD is not a thing. You don't know what you're talking about. Really? Because I was placed on psychotropic drugs. And I saw a life-size motherfucking dragon in H&M. This is not a joke. The heads and all the mannequins started chattering like skulls, telling me to kill myself. That's not okay. Thank God that I knew enough to go, hey, voice in my head, we've never thought that before. Kill yourself, the pain will never go away. You're starting to freak me out, is this the drugs talking? Not okay. Pop the same pills you give to your damn kids and tell me how you feel. Uh uh. I think you're being super unfair to the parents, they're just listening to the doctors. Actually, a lot of the times, it's the parents pushing a diagnosis. He's hyper and can't focus at school. Yeah, he's a kid, that's how kids are. <gasps> but he's not getting good grades. Did you try helping him with his homework or getting him a tutor? No, that's the teacher's job. They get paid like a hundred bucks, a pack of Girl Scout cookies, and a couple Tic Tacs a year. I wouldn't really give a fuck either. Pay teachers more. He has the attention deficit hyper disorder. WebMD told you that? Oh yeah. Awesome. And all the popular parents at school's kids have ADD, so mine needs to have it too. Fuck it. I'll make more money anyway. Thank you. Thank you. That production of My Kid Has ADD or ADHD is now touring doctor's offices around America. <laughs> Let's be honest, friends. If you have no problem giving tiny little developing minds psychotropic drugs, chances are... You're on drugs yourself. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I hear that. Here come the fuck you Nicole comments, cause I'm right. There, every time I'm right, I get a lot of fuck yous. Yeah. Those school shooters had a mental health issue. No, they had a drug issue. H&M sells dragon size. Cool. You're killing creativity. Yeah. Here's how ADD came to be. <laughs> doctors who weren't actually considered doctors by other doctors cause they couldn't prescribe anything. Got little man syndrome. So pharmaceutical companies came in and were like, we can help you be more respected. Let's create some disorders that only you can prescribe drugs for. <laughs> oh. And the head doctors with little man syndrome, well, little doctor syndrome, were like, yeah, cause I'm a real doctor too. And that's what happened. ADD and ADHD drugs have turned into a billion dollar industry. <laughs> if that is not an evil villain plan that we should be calling every fucking superhero to come fix, what is? The kids are the future and they're looking like this. I'm sorry that I was hyper on sugar and that my teacher overreacted because she's underpaid. Billy feels way better now. So we're willing to risk kids' lives 
uh, possible addiction issues, and their livers. We should give these super creative American kids to Britain, let them go to Hogwarts or something. FACT! The godfather of ADD has said that ADD is not a thing. FACT! No concrete physical evidence to prove that this is actually a thing. Chemical imbalance is an advertising buzzword, like new patented clean wash technology. Gee, gee, gee. FACT! Hogwarts is just as real as ADD. Yeah, you were tricked. Like that stripper you begged one time, who called you a day later saying they're pregnant? The pharma companies are the strippers. They just want your money. Yeah. <laughs> You want to actually solve kids acting up? Yes! Don't be a lazy parent who wrecks their kid's life because it's easier to have a zombie baby. What? Stop cutting funding to schools for Zed and arts programs. Yeah! Kids need an outlet, you've taken it away, and expect them to know how to sit in a tiny fucking little chair and do this. Yeah, no. Pay teachers more money. A couple Tic Tacs. Stop trying to make everybody learn the same way. Because we don't. No. It's been proven that genetically, there's different types of people. We're drugging the would-be population of future entrepreneurs and creative people so that the boring people like them. If you didn't know and you were ignorant, that's okay. But once you know and you continue to drug your children unnecessarily, that's child abuse. Oh, uh, didn't lick my hand and finger fuck your drink. Thanks for watching. My name is Nicole Arbor. Yeah, yeah. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Whoop. Share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Yeah. Thanks again for watching. Keep laughing. Be good to each other in real life. And until next time. Good to you. Shh. Stop honking your horns for nothing.